Well, beach goers at Folly can expect to see a new presence around the island this summer. The short term rental enforcement team. The city created that department last fall to deal with the growing business of rentals. Melissa Rademacher explains that new system. Residents and tourists alike spend the summer enjoying the beaches, restaurants and shopping at Folly. This season is the first time the city's short term rental enforcement team will be a part of the action. They're driving around the island doing inspections, just checking to make sure that the homes are um, hanging that business license in the rental. The team has two enforcement officers with two more joining in July. They will respond to complaints and hand out warnings for violating the noise rules, the 25 person party max and the two night booking minimum. We want to give them the opportunity to work with us and then after that, if they're not compliant, that's when that citation is issued. They have to then go to court and be convicted of that citation. If they are convicted, then that would be their first strike. Three strikes and you're out. Rental license revoked. People I talked to here today agree that it's important to enjoy the island respectfully. It, as far as experience living here, you know, it's different dichotomy, particularly from, you know, October through March when it's a little less crowded. Um, but, but summer months are definitely pick up and you'd expect that. Everybody up here is pretty respectful of everybody else. I mean, I'm sure there's the off occasion, but from what I've experienced being up here, everybody's really respectful. Officials say no one has lost their license under the rules yet, and the enforcement officers are most importantly meant to help everyone understand and follow city ordinances. On Folly Beach, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.